not called Feather Man. There's a reason why it's called Iron Man. Next up for air over here. There we go. For me, um, it's pushing limits, it's achieving things, it's execution, it's feeling a sense of accomplishment, and it's really just seeing what I can do. I'm ready to race some hell. <laughs> As nervous but excited, a whole mix of everything. When you try to ignore that voice and you have to tell you to quit, uh, that's when you really have to dig deep to, uh, to understand that uh, there is a lot more than the, to this life than just me. I'm racing for World Bicycle Relief. The solution is the bicycle, helping to change lives and transform communities in Africa. Thank you. It's just something inside of you that is just like, no, I, kn I know I got to do this. I know I got to go for that. None of us are ever going to forget today the 31st Subaru Army Canada. Being visibly different, um, people will see my leg or see our tether. And uh, so we get a lot of support from the other racers, the spectators, everybody. It's really nice, actually. We're all challenged. It's such a duration that you can't really hide out there, so you have to, you have to really be mentally prepared to just take it as it comes. What other sport in the world can you start on the start line with the very best in the world? Whistler is a beautiful venue with the alpine lakes, with the mountains, and this beautiful Whistler village is a perfect venue for a big event like this. It's an awesome day! Awesome win! It's a time to, to lift your head up at times and look around and see the the beauty that's around us, and especially here in Whistler. Uh, this is some of the most incredible scenery that people will ever see. Beautiful! What a great day! Yeah, this is nice. I'm from Denver, so I trained in a lot of stuff like this. Five hundred kilometers. This is the dessert. That was the main course. <laughs> we love Whistler. Thanks for having us here. Okay, 
with the leader. I was just rubbing the pavement with my body. Are uh, you gonna finish? Oh yeah. How much more you got? I got a lap and a half. Yeah, I'm feeling great. I had, my bike was like, just under seven hours and it was my first Ironman, so I had no idea. And uh, I feel good, no tummy issues. Pretty proud of myself. It's uh, great being the defending champion here and we all have that same goal is get to the finish line, whether it's uh, finish in the top three or um, just get across before the 17 hour mark, we're all doing the same thing. Once we get our, our bracelets on our wrists, we're, we're all the same. We're all one big family. We all know what each other has been through um, to get to this point. This is your final stretch, Nikki. Yes, you can represent Volunteers can't tell you. Awesome.